What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. As you can see behind me, the garage is pretty dang full right now. And there's a truck in there that you guys haven't seen before. And you may or may not see it on this channel. I don't know. You might see it on another one. Today, we aren't working on either of those. We're actually going to work on my daily driver, which is this, my 1997 GMC 2500. It's a pretty basic truck. And today it's going to be a candidate for one of my pesky project videos. Let me show you what we got going on. A few months back, Jason Stoltz from Prodigious Customs came over and helped me replace the window regulator in this door. And over the next few weeks and months, the interior door handle stopped working. So I would have to roll my window down, reach out and open the door from the outside. And with it being winter, that's getting old, the window gets frozen. Yeah. It's a mess, so it's time to just come out here and fix it. So I'm gonna take you through the process of removing the door panel, figuring out what's wrong, and uh, hopefully it's something easy and it will be done lickety split. There are tons of videos out there on YouTube about how to actually remove this panel, but I figured what the heck, I'm here. I'll just show you guys anyway. First things first is this guy right here. All I gotta do is get behind it and pull straight out. It's got one clip and two tabs on the bottom, so pop the top out and then lift up. This plug here for the light switch, I have seen videos that tell you to take it out. You don't actually have to take it out. It's not connected to anything. It doesn't hold the door on. So don't worry about that piece. <laughs> this light comes off super easy. All I gotta do is get behind it on the end, pry it out. There's your electrical connector. Get you a nice flat, small flat blade, blade screwdriver. There's a small tab, lift up on it and just pull out. Clearly, that light bulb fell off. <laughs> Next thing is this little panel here. There are clips back here, here, and then there's a locking tab up here. So you wanna lift it from the back and then pull out. Get under it, lift up. get it up pull it back here's all your connectors this one just has a push tab right here push that in push tab just push it in and it'll release that one this one there's a push tab right here it's easier if you use a screwdriver to kind of push it in while also pulling up so there's that tab, and I was pushing here with the screwdriver. This one, I don't know if you can see it. There's normally a tab here, but looks like somebody broke it off, probably me. So we'll just pull that one off. And that's it. Last piece to take off is this bezel. There's three clips in it, one down here, one here, and here. So you'll push in and down pop that one in and down to release that one see it's coming out in and up on that one and off the bezel the bezel will come off so one there one there and one there last two things are these two screws right here like i said in the malibu video anywhere you pull on a door there's usually a screw Now that everything is off and out of the way, we can go around the perimeter of the door and start popping all the clips and the panel will come off. So just pick a place, get under there, start prying. Just be gentle, as gentle as you can anyway. Once the gap's big enough, you can get your fingers under there. It gets a little bit easier to do. There you have it. Lean it out. Just lift up on it and voila well that was a bust <laughs> come to find out all of these linkages in here work perfectly fine what doesn't work is this door handle it no longer pivots in a way that it'll actually pull on the linkage uh, to open the door so I have to buy a new door handle <laughs> that really sucks but it is what it is and uh, 
once I get another one, you guys will see me re replace it. I'll show you guys how to replace it. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode. Sorry it was a short one, but you know, that's how things go sometimes. <sighs> Buddy, that went downhill real fast and I am genuinely sorry. But that's how working on cars goes sometimes. They don't always go to plan. You don't expect things to be broken. <laughs> is what it is. I'm gonna keep this video as its own separate little video because there is a lot of good information in it. And I will show you how to replace the interior door handle once it finally gets here. I just wanted to end this by saying thank you so much for watching and supporting this channel. If you guys have any questions for me, go ahead and comment them down below or message me on Instagram at Hayden's Bare Bones Garage. I love answering your guys' questions or hearing about your project cars. It's a lot of fun, so keep those coming, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.